peoples of Twitch, welcome back to another stream on the Feather SMP. It is it is bizarre to have multiple different SMPs that I play on. It is absolutely bizarre. It has been a while since we have been on Feather SMP. However, um, have discovered that during uh, yesterday that during the small amount of time I was off. A feather SMP. Apparently, an entire society has been established that I have missed out on. Oh well, it's fine, chat. It's we got. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can we can get caught up. I honestly, we were actually honestly a little bit behind, anyways. Also, apparently, there was just grass growing inside of here that I was not aware of. Hello there, Fox BQT. Welcome, welcome, welcome to. The stream! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing? Apparently you can fly in the snow. Yes, I can fly in the snow. As soon as I get below the snow line, though, or if I enter an area where there's rain, like, behind me, let's just back a bit away from there. If I enter that area, I die. So yeah, this area here. I'm not sure what biome it is. I'm not sure what biome that is, but if I enter it, I will die. Or that biome over there. Okay, so apparently there's just a biome there. There is just a biome there that I will die if I enter. I will just fall to my death. Yeah, it looks like it keeps going. There should be a line where it stops becoming... Where it stops being rain and becomes snow, but it looks like it just keeps going. Yeah, I think I'm- I'm, I'm past build height! Well, that's fine. It is one of the biomes of all time. Yep. Yep, it scares me. Oh, what do you know? It stopped raining. Let's go! Okay, well now we are safe from the rain. Let's sleep. I don't like the night. And now let's go check on our villagers. See if they have bread. I'm pretty sure that other people have been online while I have not been. So maybe this was the villagers were rendered. Probably not. No one really lives close enough to this little breeding hall to have it be rendered. Pookity, hello, hello! Sprucey, how are you doing today, Sprucey? How are you doing today? Also, how are you doing today, Fox's Beauty? How are you doing? Okay, these are not breeding. I'm about to beat them to death. Bacon! Hello there, Cruzy! Good to see you! Good to see you, Cruzy! You're good, and how about you? I am also doing good. Thank you, Sprucey. I'm also doing good. How about you, Cruzy? How are you doing today? How are you doing today? We're all doing a great check-in. Okay, the whole cruise, yeah, all the British children are on tonight. And once again, I fear for their sleep. You were in a very sausages and bacon mood today. Oof. So that's not good if you don't get them, but good if you do get them. Because hungry and dinner, so you made it for lunch. Smort. Smort. You couldn't join yesterday because you fell asleep. That is good! That is good! That is great to hear! Everyone! Everyone! It is a very important thing. It is a very important thing. The British children have slept. The British children did good sleep. It's 2 a.m. already. Clocks changed. Oof. Rest in peace. That's not on your evening. All right! Good night! Good night! Have a great sleep, Cruzy. Have a great sleep. Bye, Z Bye! Farewell! Okay, my global is not growing. It's not a very efficient farm. I'm probably gonna have to use bone meal whenever I want it to actually work. Okay, I still do not have any chickens. I really need to get more eggs. However, my chickens refuse to lay them. It's insane. You did sleep before this today, like an hour, because you had a headache, but woke up. I see. I see. I see. Well, welcome to being awake. Guess what? What? What is it, admin? What is it? What is the important news? Oh god, that is a terrifying amount of channel points. You know what, I think I actually would have been happier if I hadn't known that. I think I would have been happier if I just had not known that. Well, it's fine, chat. It's fine. It's fine. Who actually wants to live life knowing that they're safe from a terrifying admin making your entire day a very, very bad day? You're now playing a horror game. Ooh, ooh, scary horror games. I would play horror games if it wasn't for the fact that um, I I get freaked out enough playing Minecraft. Like I have fully screamed. 
playing Minecraft, so I think that playing a horror game would be slightly too traumatizing. I- I would- I would be like... I- I would- I would make the neighbors think I was getting actively stabbed to death. It would just not be great. It would probably not be good. Going back to finishing a puzzle. Ooh, okay, admin- admin's building a puzzle. How boring. I guess this is- this is true confirmation. The admin's an old person. The admin is an old person. You saw it here first, chat. Probably should not be mocking the guy that is my only moderator on right now. It's fun! Ooh, that is great to hear that it's fun. What horror game you playing? Okay, I have seeds. I need to go grab my seeds so I can plant my farm down here. I'm trying to make a bigger farm that's planted properly so I can get, like, a whole bunch of food for the villagers. Because I think that if I just feed them a ludicrous amount of bread, they'll start breeding. You don't know the name! Oh, okay, I see. I see, I see. That checks out. You're too far in to check. Once for a computer science project, I wrote a horror game. You don't want to lose. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sure you got this. I'm sure you got this. No, no losing here. No losing here. Cruzy's gonna- er, Sprucey's gonna win. Oh my gosh, why? Why are your guys' names so similar? Every- every single time. Every single time I mess it up. Okay, let's go... Till this. Get working. Okay, there we go. Shh. Shh, no, no, shh, no laughing. It's fine. It's- I don't mess up people's names. No, no, I'm a good streamer, chat. I'm a good streamer, chat. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mess up names. You mess up names. Okay, sure. Yeah, 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 sure. You know, no, I don't mess up names. I never mess up names, chat. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, let's actually breed our chickens real quick. Ooh, more eggs. Let's go. Let's go. One day. One day, we will actually be able to have eggs and a chicken farm up there. One day, this will happen. One day in the far, far, far future. One day, it'll happen. After I find all of my chickens and breed them. This is very difficult when everything is taller than I am and I can't see through the grass. Is this what short people feel like all the time? Is this what short people just, like, have to go through on a daily basis? If it is, I feel incredibly sorry for all the short people in this world now. I am very, very speedy, though, which, I mean, that's pretty great. That's pretty great, you know? If I could- if- if- if short people in real life could go this quickly, I'm pretty- like, they- they- they would just be terrifying. Like, could you imagine, like- Yes, my, my character's only like a, a meter tall right now. It's like a three foot tall person just like full on sprinting at you like Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Okay, so apparently today is my lucky day chat, which means the villagers are definitely going to breed today. I don't see how they couldn't, since today is apparently very, very lucky for me. Also, it takes so long to get up and down from here. I don't know why I decided to settle on a mountaintop. Like, it was probably the dumbest decision I could have made, honestly, looking back on it. It was a very, very poor decision on my part. Okay, there we go. We're gonna grab a little bit more wheat. Let's go feed the two bread to the villagers. See if the two bread doesn't, I don't know, encourage them to breed. You never know, maybe the two bread will do it. Let's see, let's see. Enjoy the two bread, villagers. <gasps> yeah, see, there's hearts. There's hearts, which means they should breed. They are breeding? Yes? We're good? Everything's fine? Yes! They bred! Woohoo! Chat, this is very, very good news because now that they have bred, it means that we can actually start working on our iron farm, which as you can see here is like fully complete. It is 100% ready to go. Yay! Exactly, Sprucey. Exactly, Sprucey. This is the best news ever. They were just not breeding last time I was on here, no matter what I did. So apparently I just had to, I don't know, leave? Leave and then come back, which makes a, a lot of sense. It feels like there's a lot of stuff like that in life. But yeah, now I just need to get the- Oh, how am I supposed to get the villagers over here? Right, so if I wait until night, if I wait until night, I can use beds. And have like a bed. Well, there's one's beds here. You, I, you almost, you almost died. That is not great to hear, Sprucey. No, no, don't die, Sprucey. No, you're, you're. I'm assuming you're pretty far out, for far inside of your horror game. It would not be good to die. It would not be good to die. Oh, why did I stop flying? That was weird. I thought I was about to die. I thought that it, I thought it was like raining, and I just couldn't see it. No, no, must have just accidentally tapped the space bar. Okay, I am just going up forever, chat. There we go. We made it. Okay, why haven't these grown at all? They should really they should really grow more. That is something they should be doing. Okay, so I especially need to build a lava dripstone at some point. Okay, let's grab some more seeds and go get those chickens breeding. It's very important that I do that. I don't have any rails. I don't have any rails, which means that in order to transport the villagers, I have to use, like, boats and their natural pathfinding. Which, I mean, I'm okay with. It should be fine. I can just transport them during the night and take the boat and pull them from there up to the foot of this little hillock. And then if I destroy all the spare beds here, if I move the villager along here to here, it should re lock itself on the beds in there and then it'll actually walk right into its cubicle and I can seal it there. It just means that I need to be more careful about zombies and such around the place. However, I want to wait until we have more villagers before I try doing that because breed breeding works in ex like works exponentially. So like the more villagers I, sh I have while trying to breed, the more the quicker I can breed up to the amount I want. And there is apparently a dark spot on my mountain that has just allowed a zombie to spawn. Okay, well we're just gonna commit a quick a little bit of murder here, chat. It's fine. It's fine. Murder is okay. No one saw that. No one saw that. Okay, let's dump rotten flesh in here, seeds in here. Awesome. Okay, what do we do now then while we're waiting for this? Hmm. I guess we could work on our farm. You're on a seven... Oh my gosh, rest in peace. You got this. You got this. You got this. Seven health. That's not great. That's not great. That's not great. Don't die. Don't die. I believe it. I believe you got this. Okay, let's see. We can make our farm bigger. That would be nice. I want to eventually make, like, the farms down there look decorative and nice and just kind of let them become, like, community farms. But for that to work, I actually need a whole bunch of crops, which I don't have any potatoes. Because I didn't want to steal potatoes from anywhere. So I'm going to have to find potatoes somewhere or trade for them, which shouldn't be too bad. You won't, you pray. Okay, okay, you got this, you got this. Don't die, don't die. Just believe, just believe. You got this. Well, actually, while I wait, Koso, after the iron farm, 
my next step after the iron farm is to get a gold. Is to get a gold farm set up. But for that, I need to get to the nether. Oh no, you died! Oh, that's not great! Does that mean you have to restart? Or is it one of the ones where you get to like, restart from like checkpoints? Okay, let's fly all the way back up here. Again! Restart! Oh, that is not fun. That is not fun in the slightest. You know, I remember once in physics class, it was the cl we had this weird dumb thing where we had our final, like our physics final, and then after that, like I think it was like either the day after, or like two days after, we had a random class. Like we had a random day of school with regular classes after the finals. Like, what is the point of this? So because we already had learned everything and we had already done the final, we were basically just allowed to goof off the whole class. And so one kid brought their Switch and they were just playing Hollow Knight. They were just playing Hollow Knight. Just whatever, just whatever, mate. But they were struggling a lot with one of the bosses. So they they, they ended up actually calling over the teacher and they asked my physics teacher if she knew how to play Hollow Knight. To which she was like, yeah, I play Hollow Knight a bit. Not very good at it. Why? And so, fair enough, yeah, it was it was it was crazy. I mean, like the guts of this kid, the courage of this kid, he legit then, after learning that our physics teacher played Hollow Knight, he asked if she could defeat the boss for him. And she said yes! <laughs> so she was like, okay, I'll try it out. I mean, I wasn't very good at that boss, so it might not work. Might not defeat him, but she fully. What are you talking about? Oh, hello, it's a McMac Paddywag. Welcome to the chat. Make them feel at home, or else they might leave for the ground. We were just talking about um the time when in my physics class a kid brought their switch to play Hollow Knight, but then they couldn't defeat one of the bosses, so they asked my physics teacher for help, and she played Hollow Knight and she tried to defeat the boss for him. She got so close to defeating him, but like lost at the last moment. Which kind of sucked, but... Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, she tried. She tried. She tried, bud. But like... I have like... An, I have no... No... No end of respect for this kid who fully asked my physics teacher... If she could... Beat the boss in Hollow Knight for him. And she... And she, and she tried. She actually just like fully played Hollow Knight, which was great. Which was great. It, it, it was it was it was crazy. I did not actually expect her to play it, but she did. She did. She did. It was crazy. It was a very weird physics class that day. It was very ironic though, because I spent like I as a running joke. Once I discovered about the random day after the physics test that we had class, you died at level two hundred and oh my gosh! And you have to restart. Brucey, no! That is not good! Sprucey, that is not good! Rest in peace, Sprucey! That is not fun in the slightest! Okay, so I need to make my next thing, which I think I might make a trading hall here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make like the start of a trading hall here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make a trading hall here. I'm gonna enter through here, and then you can have, like, cells all along here. It's great. What you build- I am currently carving out a spot for my trading hall while I wait for my villagers to breed. Because once they're all bred up, I can cart a few into my iron farm. Which is literally just waiting for villagers, and then eventually a zombie, and then lava. Ooh, I should also honestly probably go mining, because I need iron to make the iron farm work, and I have exactly none. Also, what world are you on? I am on Feather SMP! Times to cry. Oh no, Sprucey, don't cry! Although, I mean, you died at level 206, so yeah, you should probably cry. I love the way you say iron so much! Really? I don't think I say iron that much. I only said iron a few times in this sentence where I said iron a bunch of whole punch, apparently. Iron. Okay, why are you flying? That is because this is an Origins SMP and I happen to- Oh, no. Never mind, apparently I cannot say what Origin I have using the 
origin button. It, it just does this a few times. I, I am a fairy origin, which means that I can fly unless it is raining. If it's snowing, I'm fine. So, like, there's a, prox there's a line about there where that snow is, where if I go underneath that while it's snowing, I will die. You've played that? Ooh, that's awesome! Being a fairy is great. Unless, unless the sky is being moist, then it's not so fun. No, 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 the way you say it is so very different than the way you say it, you know? I, I just say things really, really funnily. Like, it's not even just that we're from different areas, which even though that probably contributes to it, the difference in accents, but I also just say things very weirdly. It's just, it's just how I roll. Okay, let's see. I needed to grab something that I immediately forgot what it was. Oh, yes, seeds. I need to breed me chickens. Okay, let's go breed. Hydrate or dehydrate. Hydrate or dehydrate. We love hydrating or dehydrating. <laughs> Whee! Okay, now we can go breed our chickens. Hello there, chickens. It's a good day, chat. It is a good day, chat. I was so happy. I was so happy. After... I completely forgot what made me happy. Well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You pronounce the R, you say I I iron. <laughs> iron, pretty much. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, I don't- I don't know how anyone else really pronounces iron where I live. Most people don't really have cause to say it. Unless you're in science class or like chemistry. But then I took chemistry for multiple- I took like science for multiple years in French. So everyone just called it fair. So I don't- I, I have no idea if I say iron differently really from other people in Canada. Well, of course I say different than other people in Canada. I mean, if you if you found if you found like a Newfoundland person, I don't think they speak the same as like any other person in Canada. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're, they're crazy. Okay, let's see. Are they um can I read the villagers again? Probably. It's official! You're going back to school after Easter! Ooh, you're gonna socialize! With other people! Are you excited, Sprizzy? You're gonna go now! Alright, farewell! Mic Mac Patty Wag of Wonderful Stream! Thank you so much! I will have a great stream, thank you! Have a lovely evening, Mic Mac Patty Wack! Wanna see the Britannics explode? Um, not particularly. I'm very much over in Canada. It's a very long journey for me to see the Brits' heads explode. It's a very long journey. Okay, let's see. Is there any wheat? Ah, there is a wheat! Let's go! There is a wheat grown. That means I can make another bread and go try to breed the villagers again. It's gonna be great. How do you pronounce the molecule whose abbreviation- Oh, aluminum? Al aluminum? I also don't pronounce it the same way as, like, everyone. Like, as I've said, I pronounce things very, very, very weirdly. Like, very, very weirdly. Okay, I mean- Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, villagers gonna breed or like, nah. I love how that villagers like jumped on the bed trying to be taller than the older villager. I mean like- Okay, just kidding, they're, they're sleeping. Outside of North America, it's generally... Aluminum? Aluminum? Alu oh wait, aluminium. Aluminium? Aluminium. Oh, I'm butchering that so much, aren't I? Fully butchering it. Aluminium. I don't even know how I- Aluminium. Alumin- I just say it aluminum. I just say it aluminum. That's how I- that's how I roll. That's how I roll, chat. Okay, I have not seen from Sprucey, so I think that Sprucey has just gone and hurled themselves off of a cliff based on how I pronounce aluminum. Which I mean, wasn't the point, but okay. You just never say that word. Hey, what do you know? Sprucey is alive. Let's go. That is great to know that I haven't made them want to stab someone, though. That's great, chat. That's great. Okay, I'm on a journey to find potatoes. Actually, I can probably find the village over there, honestly. 
What's up with the crater here? Actually, I don't really, I don't really think I need potatoes. Oh, there are a lot of people here. Why is there a crater, though? I'm very confused with the crater. Also, I'm definitely going to use that. This here to make a raid farm in this ocean right here. Like, this is set up so perfectly for a raid farm. Like, just so absolutely magnificently. There is just a turtle. There is a turtle that spawned using this as its ocean. My sweet turtle. This is not a great place for you to be. You used to work with a British fellow and made him cringe every time somebody mentioned aluminum cases. Oh no, rest in peace. Rest in peace, the poor British guy. Okay, let's check if we have any loot in here. Probably not. It's so close to other people. Yeah, there we go. It's like nothing. We can check to see if anybody left something that they didn't think was important. Like potatoes. Quite often people leave potatoes because they just don't really seem very important to a lot of people. Okay, I am just not getting any more... Okay, let's try our air trick here. There we go. A bunch of people, you know, would cry if you said it that way to them, to be honest, yeah. Language is a funny little thing. It truly is a funny little thing. Okay, let's... Oh, no, nothing there. I'm assuming that... Yeah, there we go. It's all looted. Okay, let's go find another ship. I just really want to get potatoes without having to steal it from somebody else's village. Which, I mean, I technically kind of, um, stole someone's potatoes in order to- what is this? In order to breed their villagers after I accidentally stole their villagers. We're just not gonna talk about that, though. We're just not gonna talk about that, chat. We're just not gonna talk about that. Okay, keep an eye out for shipwrecks, chat. Usually they have potatoes. Oh, glow squid just chilling there. Gonna move on. If there's glow squid, there, it means there's no axolotls there, so no bother really checking it out. This actually would be a great place to go mining for iron, honestly, if I went and grabbed blocks that were like for good for like air. Oh, there's a marine temple here. I need to remember that if I want to build a prismarine farm. I'm just, like, real estate shopping right now, chat. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. What's this biome here? Maple taiga. Apparently, it is not a very big maple taiga. As a kid, if someone would scare you, you'd start shouting in Welsh. That is an amazing response to someone scaring you. Like, that is an absolutely awesome response. That is a beautiful way to respond to fear. I just, like, whack people. I just whack people if they scare me, which is not a very appreciated response. It's not a very appreciated response when you punch someone after they scare you. You never got taught Welsh, though. I don't understand how you managed to do that, then. You're breaking my brain now. But that that's awesome that you could do that. That's so cool. Okay, we have a single piece of obsidian. We are one piece of obsidian. What is that? That is a squid. We are one piece of obsidian closer to being able to build... Another portal. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. There are so many flowers here. Hey, look at that. This is like one of the Aspen Forests. That was like way back over there. I feel kind of about... Ch I, I, I'm currently completely all alone on the server, so I don't need to worry about the fact that I'm chunking a lot of chunks. Don't worry about that, chat. Don't worry about it. Also, you've never been to Wales at the time. That is completely bizarre how you manage to yell in Welsh then. Completely bizarre, but okay. This is such a cool little area. <gasps> oh, this is a pretty tree. These are pretty trees. Oh, I've seen these trees at a few people's houses. This is old growth spruce taiga. What are these trees, though? Oh, Skyrus Vale. Okay, I need to remember this place. Oh, it's also got a lush cave underneath. Okay, I need to remember this place if I ever want to collect, like, these types of trees. Because, like, this has got a lot of different types of trees here. Okay, so I don't remember this place. Because I'm not really- I don't really feel like- Actually, I should probably collect trees right now. No, because I am trying to get my villagers to breed. I was trying to get my villagers to breed, and then I legit just pieced out. Like, I did not plan this very well. <gasps> it's the mushrooms! 
Oh, but they're not grown yet! Okay, I need to stay in this area then, so I can make these mushrooms grow. I have been trying to get those bloody mushrooms for so long. I have been trying to get them for so long. But I can't find them anywhere near me. Okay, so let's go actually chop down these trees while we're here. Probably not this tree. This tree is absolutely massive. I have no idea how I would chop it down. But let's chop down these trees first. And then start chopping down some of these trees. How about we can get all sorts of different types of saplings, woods, all that type of stuff. I managed to get a... Green out? What? Oh, so if you break these leaves, they drop apples. Fun. I, was, I think they'll also drop if they just disintegrate, perhaps. Let's see if that works that way. Okay, yeah, let's chop down these. I'm going to try to collect trees here, and then I'm going to build some sort of, like, grove nearby me. Probably not too close, because it'll ruin the aesthetic, having a whole bunch of, like, random trees growing. But somewhere nearby me, I'm going to plant a whole bunch of trees, like, all the different types of trees I can collect with the whole biomes to go. Oh, what I bet you I can do is actually on the nether roof is actually a, probably a great place for me to build like groves and such because I'm going to be building massive farms up there anyway. So it's not going to look too great anyway. So I can just build a whole bunch of stuff up there. It'll be great. When I mean, you're waiting for Milo to reply, but it turns out you left them on red four days ago. No. Oh, I can also grab all the white cobblestone. For this is cool. There's like rainbow flowers here. I love this so much! I'm so happy! This is beautiful! I'm just going to live here, chat. You know what? Living back where I used to live, overrated. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is my life now, chat. This is just my life now. A fairy sliver? Why do even the flowers sound so mystical and beautiful? Trees, exactly. I'm murdering your cousin, Sprucey. How do you feel? Okay, there we go. We got, like, two saplings. Let's wait for that to disintegrate a little bit more. While we're waiting for that, let's chop down this tree. This one's pretty narrow, so it should disintegrate relatively fast. And we already got a sapling from it, so we're doing great. Oh! Oh! Sprucey has made the dark realization. Second cousins! Ah, there we go! Second cousins! It's fine, chat. It's fine, as long as they're second cousins. As long as they're just second cousins. Hey, let's keep digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. I'm gonna have to remember this place because it's got like cool dirt, cool cobblestone, mossy cobblestone, whatever the heck that is. I think that's I think that's mossy stone. So I need to come back here with a silk touch pickaxe for that, and I just do not have an axe anymore. Well, that's fine. Who who needed an axe? Okay, I got fur salads. I actually have two of them, so I can probably skedaddle. I don't need that much anymore. Oh, here we go. We can grab more apples and that. Oh, there are so many apples dropping out of this tree. Like, this is insane. This is absolutely insane how many apples are dropping out of this. I need to remember these trees just for the sake- Just for the sake that they give an insane amount of food. Okay. Let's go dig a little bit of stone so that I can remake my pickaxe and my- I don't need to remake my pickaxe, don't know why I said that, but remake my axe. I need to rebuild my axe. But the closest cliff is over here. Let's just grab a bunch of stone from here. There, that's a bit extra. And fly back to the tree. Oh, shit. oh this allows me to make both my axe and a hoe. What do you know, chat? What do you know? I'm prophetic in what I need. I just simply have such big brain, even when I'm not braining it brains. Okay, it is currently getting dark. There is night that is falling, which is probably not good, but it's fine, chat. It's fine. Hopefully, I will live. Hopefully, I will live. It's not a guaranteed, and I'm very, very far away. I really don't want to die out here, but it's a pawn. You feel betrayed? Oh no! Why are you- why do you feel betrayed, Sprucey? Why do you feel betrayed? Okay. There we go. Chopping endlessly. Okay, we now have ten saplings from one tree. So I am now very much convinced that these are the be that this is the best tree in the world. I mean, like, not only does like one tree drop like twenty apples, 
It also drops so many saplings. Like, this is absolutely insane, Shet. This is like a tree on steroids. Your mom said she'd rather be Mother Birch than Mother Spruce. Bizarre, bizarre, but okay. Also, apparently the fairy slippers glow? That is amazing! I am 100% planting them all over my mountain. So I just need to collect these. Okay, so I went from trying to breed villagers to just going on, like, a tree and resource collecting adventure chat. I'm just on a pookity adventure now. If I use the fairy slip, they even work with dynamic lights. That is amazing. That makes me so happy. Like, that makes me happy on, just, like, so many different levels. We got Pete. Pete. Cool. Apparently that's called Pete. Okay, we have four bird saplings. Let's make a jerk. Oh god, it's burning! Okay, so these very tall trees is probably very bad if they burn. Let's just, uh, no, try to put this out real quick. Ow, never mind. I don't- I don't want to try it. I'm gonna get crisped. I'm gonna get crisped- I'm gonna get crisped alive. Okay, so I just grabbed all the trees and such. Now I think I can journey home and it'll be fine. Okay. On a journey, chat. On a journey back home. Oh yeah, here are the mushrooms! I almost forgot about the mushrooms! Okay, now we need to stay here and wait for the mushrooms to grow enough that I can take their caps. So we just need to wait for them to grow. While we're doing that, we can collect some flowers from this biome. Mushrooms, exactly. Oh, I just accidentally destroyed two mushrooms. Well, rest in peace mushrooms, they are dead now. They are very much dead now. It's fine, there are more mushrooms that we will be able to take. Okay, yeah, because there are- I don't see any mushrooms down there, but there are a few mushrooms remaining here. If I can just pull out my magical light up flowers for my dynamic lights so I can actually see the mushrooms. You see, we got a mushroom here. Got a mushroom here. They Their top will get a lot bigger once they're ready to be harvested. Nick says hi! Hey! Hi, Nick! How are you doing, Nick? How are you doing, Nick? How are you doing this fine day? Ooh, I don't have that type of tree yet. Is this just an oak tree? I think this is just an oak tree. Let's check the wood type. Yeah, this is just a regular oak tree. I'm not gonna bother chopping that then. How about over here? That looks like a darker type of wood. That's just dark oak. That is just dark oak, which admittedly actually might still be helpful. Might still be helpful, you know, I could- I could use dark oak trees, I could use dark oak wood. Let's chop one that's slightly closer to the mushrooms that I've been watching, though. Okay, so the mushrooms here should still be rendered if I chop down this tree. Well, there's a creeper right there, so we're gonna have to just keep an eye on that creeper while we're chopping here. Okay. Just gonna keep an eye on it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And then hopefully we get- Actually, wait, do I have shears on me? I do have shears. Let's actually check if this is dark oak leaves or just regular oak leaves. Because that'll... That'll change whether or not I'm gonna finish this. <gasps> These are dark oak leaves! Okay, so if I chop this down, I should get dark oak saplings. And yes, there is the creeper right there waiting to murder me. That's fine, chat. That's fine. You know what? It's fine. Okay, we can just... Very carefully unalive the creeper. Ooh! This is not working very well. Okay, Che, we got like we got this. Hey, we did it! We did it! We did it! Hooray! We unalive the creeper. We did it. Five ads. Gotta love them. No, rest in peace, Sprucey. Rest in peace, Sprucey. Sprucey is just lost in the ads forever. We will never see them ever again. Okay, there was an ad of corn. That is a bizarre ad to get, but you know what? There are probably worse ads to get. There are probably worse ads to get, so I feel like an ad about corn is probably not the worst thing in the world. Okay, there was another creeper there waiting to unalive me. Let's just be very cautious about that. I'm also very scared of creepers, actually. 
Or not, not creepers, but um, skeletons. The creepers I don't mind too much, I can fly away from them. But the skeletons really freak me out, because they can like fully shoot me out of the sky. Which isn't very great. Oh, so the mushrooms are not grown yet, which is not great, but it's fine, chat. It's fine. Eventually, eventually it will be grown. Okay. There we go, chat. We just become like a danger fairy. We just kind of get to go like zoom in by and demolish the monsters. That is, that is our attack plan, chat. You just go zoom. You just go zoom and destroy them. Actually, let's see if I can get myself some bones so I can bone meal the mushrooms. Oh, actually, let's chop out all the wood in here first, and then we can try to get bone meal. I want this to actually start working. Hey, let's go! Thank you so much for the gifted sub, admin! Ads be gone! It's the magic spell of the admin. The magic spell. Okay, there we go. That's all cleared up. Oh, we gotta bounce over here. Ah! It's fine, chat. It's fine. It's fine. No one almost died. No one almost died. It's fine. It's fine. We're nice and safe inside of our tree. We did not accidentally almost get blown up by a creeper. What are you talking about? No. No, it's fine. It is fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, so I have just been completely on a journey, chat. It's fine. We are not in range of our villagers, meaning that they are not going to breed. They are just not going to breed while I am here. But that is fine. That is perfectly fine. Who wanted the villagers to breed anyways? Not me. Definitely not me. Also, I now have so much stuff inside of my inventory. I don't need the dark oak leaves. Don't need the dark oak leaves. We can leave that be. Let's go kill a skeleton. Ooh, wait. Actually, let's... Let's see if we can't... Get this skeleton to kill this creeper. See if we can't get ourselves a music disc. I don't have a shield, so this is gonna be very dangerous. This is this is a terrible, terrible, terrible plan, chat. This is a terrible plan. I would just like to say that. Oh, just kidding. I thought that I would be able to do two axe hits and then a pickaxe hit. Just kidding. That 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 killed it. That that killed my poor creeper. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, now we have two dark oak trees worth of saplings. Okay, the mushrooms are just scattered around everywhere and they have not grown yet. We're gonna try to get some bone meal real quick by just like... Ow! That skeleton just shot us. It's fine, chat. It's fine. We'll just aggressively eat berries. Oh, wait a moment, wait a moment. Ha ha! Okay, I can try to get this to work if I go really, really, really fast. Okay, come on, skeleton. Come on, Skelebro. This is not working very well. Okay, like, if I get, like, one shot from a skeleton, it's, like, half my heart right now, because I have, like, no armor. Okay, come on. I don't know why I say like no armor. It is just no armor. I have no armor. Ow. Okay, so yeah, let's just leave that be. Actually, let's wait to get music discs at a future date when I have armor. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, we're just flying. It's fine, chat. It's fine, it's fine. Aggressive berry eating time. It's fine. Okay, let's check on our mushrooms again. Oh, they're still not grown. There's still- I'm going to be here forever until these mushrooms grow, because I want to get the bloody spores from them. I desperately want- I desperately want to get those mushrooms growing, because you get an advancement, actually, for getting them. Okay, there we go. Aha! Bones! We can use those bones make bone meal. I'm not sure if bone meal works on the mushrooms. Really hoping they do, though. Really hoping that they work. Not sure- OH GOD! The spider's trying to kill me! Okay, it's fine, chat. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're still alive. We're still alive. We're still alive. Okay, I'm grabbing all the stuff. Grabbing all the stuff. Okay, I could not grab all the stuff. I have no inventory space. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm gonna put down a peat block. I don't really need a peat block. I do need those bones, though. The I probably don't need the apple. Okay, let's go bone meal my mushroom. <gasps> yeah! it works chat it works it's a good day 
Okay, let's put these two pink flowers down. I can always get more in the future. Okay, I don't know. Oh, there we go. I have to be like that big, perhaps? Oh, no, you just have to like fully bone meal them to like their biggest size. Let's go! We did it, chat! We got spores in the cap. There we go, chat. Those give, like, the most sad amount of hunger L ever. Like, that was the saddest amount of saturation and, like, health hung shanks that I have ever seen in my life. Like, that was disappointing. Oh, well. It's fine, chat. It's fine. We'll be fine. Spruzzy's cat is staring at you from the corner of their door. I assume this is Nick! Hello there, Nick! Also, cats are, like, evil. Cats are amazing little creatures, but sometimes I'm like 99% certain that they're just evil and waiting to kill everyone. So it makes sense, it's just ag aggressively staring at you. I need to remember that there's lilacs there. I need to collect all the tall flowers. Tall flowers are amazing to collect. Yes, hi! Hello there, Nick! Hello there! Okay, look at that. Lo, I do not recognize this place. Oh dear. I may or not be I may or may not be lost with an incredibly full inventory. It's fine. I live on peaks like that, chat, so it should be relatively easy to find my house. It should be relatively easy. It's fine. We just gotta find the main continent that everyone lives on. I know my way back from that. Okay, so I didn't see a deep slate pillar on my way out, but signs of civilization is good. He looks like he's about to run at you. Yeah, I would be afraid. I would be very, very afraid. If if any if if the if a cat looks like they're gonna run at you, chances are they're planning on murdering you. And oh god, it's raining. Okay, so good news. That is Simple's house, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's Simple's house, which means we're pretty close to our house. Bad news is it started to rain, so we can't fly. So we are now a um oceaned. Which is actually pretty good that this was an ocean. Otherwise, we could have just died. We could have full well just fallen onto ground and died. However, luckily, it started raining while we were over an ocean and we are alive. Okay, there we go. Flightless bird. Yeah, I'm fully- I am flightless, but I am not a bird! Okay, let's check on our villagers, see how they're doing. Oh, we still only got one child. We need to get two children at the very least before we start moving these guys into here. Mm, yeah, I don't really want to be moving children in. Because children are a pain in the butt to deal with. But I don't want to ever be leaving the breeder with any less than two adults. So always two adults. So I need at least three adults before I try to move anybody. Okay, there we go. Now we can use the inner tunnel of our house to ascend to our top floor where we can drop off all of our stuff and find a spot to plant our spores. Which I think I'm actually gonna plant them at my giant farm that I'm eventually going to turn into a public farm. For now though, it is very much just my little farm. Eventually, once I make it decorative though and have all the stuff in it, I might make it a public farm. We'll actually see, we'll see, we will see, we will see. Okay, there we go, we're up at the top here. Let's make another chest because I do not have enough space for anything up here. Like, see, chat, I've just got, like, I've got so much stuff. This is insane. I need to, I need to carve out a pillar and make it my new storage area. I need to do that. The cat jumped at you! What do you know, chat? What do you know? It was, it was predicted. It was predicted. The cat, the cat, the cat's, the cat's dangerous. The cat is dangerous, chat. That is, that is all I have to say. That is all I have to say, chat. Okay, we're gonna drop off all the stuff. Grab these, put this back, put this back. Okay, now we're gonna grab the Skyrus sapling, the fur saplings. We have our dark oak and we have our puffball shroom spores. Okay, let's go find a good place to plant these. Ooh, I gotta be really careful about the rain. I gotta be really careful about the snow though that I don't accidentally go anywhere where it so it looks like planes are actually safe at this height. Oh, no, they're not. 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 Oh, we're fine, chat. 
We saved ourselves. Okay, we we're gonna scoot over here. Okay, this is bad. This is fine. We're fine, chat. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so yeah, anything but those ma that mountain biome is not safe for me. Anything but that mountain biome is dangerous for me. So that's good to know. Okay, let's go somewhere where we don't. Oh, I cannot be planting these. I want to eat these. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Let's go find a good spot. Okay, so first let's go plant our spores. A nice hoe. Okay, here we go. On this side, I want to plant them. Perfect! Why does this SMP- Oh, this is the Feather SMP! The Feather SMP is an SMP, an Origins SMP. I am a fairy, which means I can fly when it's not raining. Currently, it is raining, so I am just stuck on the earth with an incredibly small amount of health and can't wear heavy armors, like an Elytrian. So right now, I am just a grounded Pukatine. It's not great. Okay, one, two, three, four. I want to put spores here. There we go. Yeah, it is an Origins SMP, and then the only other mod is the Biomes mod. How do I plant these? Can I not plant these? I am aggressively right-clicking, but I don't think I can plant these. Oh dear. Maybe I need to plant them on, like, stone or something? Yeah, wait, no, how do you plant these? Do you have to plant them in, like, a sheltered spot? Okay. Okay, this is not great. This is not great, chat. I may or may not have absolutely zero clue how to plant spores. Which is fine. It's fine, you know? It's not like I went on a massive journey to get these spores so I could have mushrooms. No, no. Also, also, hello, Selena! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat! How are you doing today, Selena? How are you doing? Okay, maybe if we just try to, like, break this and just plant on, like, dirt... Okay, this is not working. Okay. I will find out how to plant spores in the future. Cat tried to do it again, but somehow Sprucey caught their cat. You're confused, Helene. I'm I'm pretty it's Sprucey. It's Sprucey. It's Sprucey, Nick. You just you just you just gotta be afraid. You gotta be very, very afraid. You gotta be very, very afraid, Nick. It's it's certainly 100 percent 100 percent Sprucey just like sicked their cat upon you. That is 100% what is happening here. No crazy coincidences. No. 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 It is simply a murder plot. That is simply what is happening here. There is no other option. Oh, hello there, pig. You knew it! Exactly. Exactly. What other option could there be, chat? What other, option what other options could there possibly be? Okay, let's put down these here. Let's grow some fir trees over here. We have a whole bunch of palm trees over here already growing, so we don't need to worry about planting any of those. And then we can plant these saplings over here. There we go. And this can be my little grove where I grow trees. It's great, chat. It's great. It's great. We have trees. We have trees. Okay, I'm gonna keep two saplings because they're really nice saplings, so I might wanna use them for decoration. You'd be on your account, but your laptop's at home and you don't know your- Nick, you forgot your password again?! Nick! Is there any way that there is the spores inside of here? I don't suppose the spore- It doesn't say what I can do with it. It doesn't say what I can do with it. And that's kinda concerning for me. Because I have no idea how to use it. I have no idea how to use it. I don't- I don't know how- I don't know how to plant the spores. But it's fine. Alright, listen, okay, uh, you don't know. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, so there is no excuse for losing the password. I see. I see. Much has become clear to me now. You forget when you were born, sometimes, man. Same here, same here. Like, whenever, whenever, like, when you're, like, a doctor's appointment, the doctor's like, hey, when were you born? Like, what's your birthday? And you have a moment of, like, oh, 
I promise I am not trying to steal my own identity. I promise. I promise that this is my identity. But like, give me a give me a hot second to remember my birthday. Just like, give me a hot second to do that. Also, what is up with the turtles and living inside of like the weirdest spots? Like, why is the turtle living in a cave? Why is the turtle living in a cave? Why is it doing that? Finally, someone who gets it. Exactly, exactly. I don't, I don't understand the people who can just like rattle off their birthday with like ze with like no hesitation. Like, bro, bro, it'll take me like a hot second of being like, ah, uh, to be like, oh yeah. Or even if like I do know it, it's like a quick second of like, wait, is that actually my birthday, or if I just like completely, or I'm just like, this is a completely random, random date. Cave turtle, exactly. It's just a cave turtle chat. Also, there are so many monsters on the ground here, and I am absolutely terrified for my life. So we're just gonna head- Actually, it's- Oh, it's night right now! So we need to get back up to our bed as fast as possible so we can sleep and pass away the rain? So let's just speed up the massive endless tunnel. Just to give me a hot second, chat. We'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. There we go! We made it! We made it, chat. We did it. Okay, there we go. Now we can sleep. And there we have like two... We have two different advancements now. We're so fancy, chat. We're just so fancy. And I have no idea how to plant these. Like, I have absolutely no idea how to plant these. I will look it up eventually. Probably not right now. Busy streaming, busy streaming. But props off camera. I'll look it up. And it's gonna be something really dumb. It's gonna be something really dumb, like, I don't know, like, planting it on, like, dirt or something. Which I already tried and that didn't work, so it's probably not that. Okay, or maybe it can't be saturated or something dumb like that. Maybe it just has to be, like, a dry area, like, on, like... I have no- I have no idea what it could be. Also, why do these never make dripstone? Like, this has been rendered for so long. But it just does not work. But it's fine. It's fine, chat. Because I don't really need dripstone too bad right now. So we're just going to give it a bit longer before I actually start panicking about why the dripstone farm is not working. Ow. 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 It should work, though. Eventually, it'll work. Okay, going to breed our chickens. Grab all these eggs and- Oh, <gasps> did I get quadruplets? Oh no, I just got- I just got two actual good eggs. That's crazy. Why am I so lucky all of a sudden? I like, never would get anything out of those eggs trying to get hatched in there. But all of a sudden, I am insanely lucky. I mean, I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. I love- I love having chickens in there now. But like, why couldn't I have gotten that luck earlier? Also, do I have saplings for, like, the witch hazel? I have saplings for the ebony. I'm gonna go plant that inside of my giant collection of trees. I don't think I have any witch hazel saplings, though. Like, I do not have any witch hazel saplings. Which, how did I manage to accomplish that? I have no clue. I also don't know how- Oh, yeah, because I was just planting, like, the red trees just there. I didn't bother making a grove for them since they're so close. Yeah, over here, I am going to plant a quick grove. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I have not seen any movement from the person here. I haven't seen really any change from them, so I don't think they play very often. Oh, to be fair, I haven't been on. I haven't been on. I haven't been on recently, so I wouldn't really know anyways. So I'm not really one to talk. Okay, let's go check on our villagers. Let's go give them some more bread, which I have no wheat on me. I left it all up there, so I'm gonna have to go grab my wheat after we harvest this wheat here real quick. And we can breed the villagers again. Uh, my carrots are not growing very fast, so unfortunately wheat is still my only way of really feeding my villagers. Okay, actually, look at that. Though These carrots are grown. But I want to complete the row of carrots at my farm before I go around trying to make this, trying to make these carrots make my villagers breed. So instead we're just gonna leave the breeding supplies to the bread, 
and leave the carrots growing to finishing that row of carrots, and then probably we can start using them to grow other stuff. Oh, so if I start planting... If I start planting birch saplings around there with flowers around them, eventually I can get bees there. And then the bees will help those crops grow. So I should definitely 100% do that. Okay, let's go all the way up to the tip top of my tower once again. We can- is the sun going up or down? I think it's still rising. It is still rising, chat. Okay, it's gonna be great, chat. It's gonna be great. Oh, we're just on a journey. We are on a journey ever upwards, chat. And one day we'll reach the top. There we go, we reached the top. Okay. Let's grab the wheat. Which, I don't have any in here. I do have some in here, and I should have more in here. I have none in there. Okay, great. Two pieces of bread! Great! I mean, that's what I bred my villagers last time with. That's how much they needed last time. So perhaps this will be good enough. Is there any extra wheat down here that's grown? Alas, there is none. Okay, let's go read these two here. Okay. Ah, hey, look at that! The baby grew up. So technically we could steal one of them now, but I actually, I actually want to leave at least four in here at all times, because that means that we get two baby villagers every single time we breed them. Once we have four in here. So if we let these, yeah, there we go. These four villagers, if we just let them stay here all the time, then we can, and then only take out adults once they've grown. It's like only actually ever taking a single villager once there's five adults. We can always at any time get two villagers from that. Which just makes breeding a lot faster than if you only leave, like, two villagers behind to repopulate. Like, if I wasn't planning on using villagers in the future, I might be tempted- Oh, I'm so tempted to just take one now so I can actually, like, get an iron farm. But honestly, the more I think about it, the less sense there is to it. Just based on the fact that I still, honestly, don't have a lot of iron, so I really can't fully make the iron farm yet. In fact, I should probably actually check. Do I have rails and minecarts yet? Because having a rail and minecart is incredibly important for having the zombie. It's really hard to get the zombie. Okay, so I have four iron ingots. I have iron nuggets. Okay, let's see how much iron that is. Okay, so that is enough for rails. That is enough for one set of rails or one minecart. Unfortunately, they're not very- oh wait, oh, I already have rails. Okay, so I have rails and enough for a minecart. That's perfect, actually. Awesome. So I can leave that be. I can leave that be, so I actually don't need- Oh, technically I should have iron, though, to make at least one hopper, though. At least one hopper would be good. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, chat, I guess it's time we go mining. Okay, let's drop off our seeds, our wheat, grab ourselves some more food if we can find any, and see if we can't go on an adventure. Okay. Let's grab on a tunic. Okay. I can't wear anything that has, like, a higher protection value than chainmail, so I really need to get villagers set up soon so that I can get chainmail. Because the only other option for me to wear right now is leather. Which I don't have any cows, so that doesn't work anyway. So there is just nothing. There is no armor that I can make currently. So I don't think I can wear iron. Okay, so I have sweet berries. Any other food? Oh, melons. Melons. I have a lot of melons. Okay, let's go. Actually, let's go explore the caves right there. I don't have any logs. That would, be, that would have been very bad if I had tried to go and explore caves without any logs. That would have just been a dumb Pukati move. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab ebony logs, even though... I actually don't know where I got the ebony trees. I don't know where I got them. I think that they're just the really big trees. That's not very descriptive. There's a lot of those. Oh, oh, the big trees. Ebony trees. Those are like the ebony trees right there. 
Well, gotta go. Spruz is walking you home, but they might be back by. Bye bye. Farewell. Farewell, Mick. Have a great rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your evening. Don't, I don't, don't, I don't know, get like mugged. Don't get mugged. Okay, let's grab torches. Oh, I can make melon seeds. I was so confused of why I was making seeds. I'm like, what, what can I even make seeds out of? I completely forgot there for like a hot second that I had melon stuff in my Is there anyone? All right, that's great. That's great to hear. That's great to hear. They're not going to get mugged. Hey, right, we know there's a donkey here, so I'm going to be able to get like a full on like donkey horse set up. I'll be able to get mules going. Let's go. Okay, so I cannot hold up a shield chat. So 100% caving is incredibly dangerous for me. I, I cannot use a shield. <gasps> yes, let's go! I got a music disc! Woohoo! Okay, let's go drop our music disc back in our house real quick, chat. We're just gonna go drop our music disc off in, off in our house, and then we're gonna resume mining. Okay, so yeah, I cannot hold a shield, and I cannot have any armor with a higher armor rating like a higher protection rating than chainmail so i'm and i for the rest of my life i'm going to be in a lot of danger i'm going to be in a lot of danger once i have fully prof ford chainmail i should be safer but still not too incredibly safe so I will always have to worry about just getting unalived very, very quickly. And I think that creeper explosions, honestly, always will be able to kill me. They will always be able to kill me if I am just right next to one. So also need to be very, very careful about creepers. Which is why it was such a huge deal for me to actually like get a spawn point set with a bed. Because before I had a bed, if I died, it was a very long- Ooh, hello. It was a very long journey back to my home. But, but now that I have a spawn point set, it's not too huge of a deal if I die as long as I know how to get back to where I died. I'm actually kind of surprised that I haven't died more. I think I've only died like a few times on the server. Which isn't too bad, which isn't too bad actually, consider, considering, considering that I've been on here for a little bit while. A little bit now. Okay, just gonna mine some coal for a bit. That's copper. Oh, hello there. Hey, I hear... Oh, there's a creep. That is a lot of creepers! That is just four creepers just chilling, having a great little gathering there. Yeah, I don't think the person over there is very active here. Otherwise, the caves here would definitely have already been explored. Like, I don't think they're very active. Otherwise, these would definitely have been explored. Cool. I'm just gonna light this up real quick, actually. Just because I feel like it. I, f I, feel, I feel weird not leaving- not lighting it up as I go through it. Okay, there we go. Let's grab this coal here. I have not found any iron. Actually, ooh, that actually might be proof that the other person around here has been mining. Because I know that quite often, if people have, like, dynamic lights, it's very easy to forget to light up stuff. Oh. Just crashed on me. Well, that's a great moment. That's fine. It's fine. I, I, I didn't, I didn't mean to mine that coal anyways, chat. I didn't want to mine that anyways. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we can get this back up in no time, chat. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So th this isn't the first time this has happened. It also kicked me for mining when I was over at someone's village trying to get villagers before I realized it was someone else's village. It's a uh, kind of complicated. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. Okay, there we go. We're back on. We're just gonna leave that be. I don't want to try mining around that anymore. Last time that happened when I mined stuff, whenever I mined it, it broke. 
So we're just gonna leave that be and move on. Oh, look at that! Our wheat has grown up nicely. There are a lot of creepers over he over there, so we're just gonna stay very far away from them here and happily farm our wheat. We're just gonna stay away from them. They, they, they stay over there and I stay over here. We're both happy. We're both happy now. Okay, there we go. We got wheat. How much wheat is that? that? Oh, that's ten wheat. That's not bad. That's three pieces of bread. That that should be enough for a baby villager. Let's see if there's any creepers. <gasps> Ooh, there's a creeper right here. I could totally use that insane amount of skeletons to my advantage. Okay. Ooh, please don't blow up. Okay, so as much as a lot of skeletons sucks... That amount of skeletons is also amazing, because if I can get this creeper anywhere close to those skeletons, it'll be a lot easier to get the music disc. Okay, there we go. We have a skeleton interested. If we can get the... Ow. Skeleton between us and the creeper and still interested. Okay. This zombie villager is apparently much more interested in me than the skeleton is. Okay, there we go. We got- Ow. This is an interesting predicament, chat. Oh, dear. My axe is so damaged. Okay. Well, that's fine. I can- Oh, I have a sword! I forgot that I have a sword! Okay, where'd my creeper go? Is that my creeper, or is that my creeper? I don't know which one's- I think that this one's my creeper, maybe? I think that this one's my creeper. If we pull it over here, pull the skeleton over here, creeper- whoop, nope, not today, please, not today, please, good sir. Not today, please, good sir. Okay, yeah, I don't know which one's my creeper anymore. It's fine, though. It's fine. Let's just kill this spider real quick. Grab the string, and then... Get this skeleton shooting at this creeper. Oh, this is really difficult. Because, ow, because I'm so much smaller, the mobs have a difficult time staying focused on me. So in order to get the creeper and the skeleton in the right line and still have the skeleton interested in me, I need to be incredibly close to the creeper, which means it tries to blow up. Which is not exactly the most amazing. Oh, that was my creeper. The other one was not. Okay, well, at least we figured that out early on. Okay, there we go. <gasps> oh, God, no, it's raining. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, change of plan. Change of plan. We are not getting a music disc right now, chat. Change of plan. Flying is one of my only advantages, chat. Flying is one of my only advantages, so being on the ground and unable to fly while getting music discs, which is very dangerous on the best of days, no thank you! Okay, let's go sleep, pass the rain away, and then make bread out of our large amount of wheat and go breed our villagers again. I'm super stoked, actually. I am very happy that our villagers are finally breeding because it means that we are so close to actually getting that iron farm built up. And as soon as I have enough villagers that I can have for adults and pull out villagers, that is when I am going. That is when I'm going to start pulling out villagers. And then I'm going to have my iron farm built up super fast. Like I said, once you have four villagers, it is insanely easy to get a large amount of villagers very, very quick. Like, four villagers is the best amount to have left over inside of a trading hall. Breeding hall. Always. Okay, there we go. I should also probably want to mine some regular trees, like dark oak or something. Or like spruce trees. Just so that I have a normal log to use for just day-to-day -day log usages, because as much as I appreciate the ebony logs I have, it was a really big pain in the butt to cut that tree down, so I very much want to use that for a decorational building. Not whenever I need a tree. 
Okay, there we go. We have the three adults and then the baby. So any children born from this point forward can technically be taken once they grow older. I just want to make sure that that one grows up first before I try actually start taking villagers. Great! And yeah, we should be able to get so many villagers here, honestly, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should- oh, look at that. So we should be able to have 14 villagers. So we should be able to take 10 villagers at any- not any time, but once our hall is fully loaded, we should be able to take 10 villagers and still have four villagers left behind to start the breeding process again. Okay, let's go check on how our grove is- I don't think the grove is actually rendered while I'm over there. Which isn't the best. Oh, I planted sweet berries there by accident. Well, let's harvest that. I don't want sweet berries just growing everywhere. It's probably not the best thing. Okay, let's leave that be. I'm honestly so excited, though, that I'm so close to a raid tower. Like, 100%, I am going to be building a raid farm as soon as possible. Because that is a great way to get both Tomes of Undying. And I think you actually also get emeralds from it, honestly. And then Hero of the Village is also massive because I'm going to be able to walk around any trading hall that I build or even my breeding hall. That's probably not the breeding hall because none of them have trades. But like if once I build a trading hall, oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to get so many gifts. It's going to be amazing. Okay, although raid farms really don't work very well unless you're right next, unless you're nearby a raid outpost, I don't think. Do they? I don't, I don't really know how raid farms work. I would have to look more at the one on the meadow, but the one on the meadow does not work very well. The admin built it right over top of a cave! It was not very great planning on their part. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It still kind of works. It halfway works. Okay, let's breed our chickens. I'm also excited for once we're able to build a chicken incinerator. I love building chicken incinerators, but those require so much iron. Like, those require so much iron, it's absolutely insane. Okay, I'm actually- I'm tired. I'm tired at this point. I'm going to go and make bread. Okay, great. Drop this off, and then I'm actually going to grab my rails, my boat. Make this into a minecart. And we're going to go... And we are going to put a villager into the iron farm. We are going to do that. That is what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's going to be a bit tricky because I don't really have a way to get the boat into here. So 100% I'm fully counting on the villager to walk up here and then get trapped into a rail minecart setup. Or if it's nighttime, I guess I could also use pathfinding. Oh, actually, oh, I can just use pathfinding with a workstation. Okay, so let's do, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab a workstation. I'm not sure I have any workstations. Yeah, I don't think I have any workstations already, but I can make one really easy since I think I have flint or right, gravel. I have one of the two at least. So I can just make a fletching station. Those are really easy to build. Okay, so we can do that really quick. And that I have string, so I can also build a loom. Just with the fletching table, I'm actually going to use that in the future, so it could be helpful. Okay, I don't see any flint, unfortunately. I do have string, though, so the loom- Oh, I have a composter, I can just use that. Alright, I'll just use the composter. How do I not have any gravel or flint? I feel like this is everything you just collect, but apparently I just did not. I just did not collect it, so I have none of it. Okay, that's great. That's great. Feeling good, chat. Feeling good. Okay, let's also grab that wheat so that I can breed my villagers whenever I see the opportunity arise. Like, it's so- it's so nice to have a lot of villagers. It's so nice to have, like, four villagers because it fully means you can breed your villagers so much faster. I'm so annoyed that that villager is taking so long to grow up. But I am just glad that they are breeding. For some reason, they'll just decide not to breed. I don't know why, but they just decide not to breed, even though every single criteria for breeding is met. Villagers are just fun that way. Okay, there we go. We still have four adults, which means they're probably still in breeding mode because it's not been a whole day. 
Okay. Let's put a boat down here. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got one of the adults. We got one of the adults. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And then we need to open this up, which... Oof. Am I going to be able to get through this waterfall without sinking the boat? Okay, there we go. We're fine. Okay. Oh, dear. Please stop. Oh, dear. Okay, there we go. We have escaped from the boat. It's fine, Chet. Okay, I'm going to have to turn that into some sort of, like, doors or something so I can get out of there easier in the future. But for now, we have a lovely little villager, a little company here. Okay. Whoop. Out of the boat. In the boat. Out of the boat. Okay, let's put the composter here. See if the sparks appear. The sparks have not appeared. That means it's not registered it. Put it here, though. Sparks should appear. It should register it. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. They're on land. Perfect! Okay. Let's move it in here. Aha! There we go, chat! There we go! Okay, now we put a log here. Oh, and I actually... I did not put any sort of blocks that would be helpful for sealing the villager into one of these spots up here. I did not do that. And the villager is just running away. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now we have a nice trade. And I'm going to take out this block. And as long as the villager isn't crazy, they shouldn't walk out here. But I am still going to seal them in, because I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. There we go! Now we have the villager all locked in there. We can take out the composter, and... Perfect! We have one villager in place. And I'm going to leave this taken out for now. Actually, I don't, I don't have the block. I put it back. So I don't have that block anymore. Okay, let's pop up here. Let's actually grab a door. I want to put a door at the entrance of the iron farm so nothing can enter it unless I... Well, villagers can enter and exit, but that's not a huge deal. I'm not too worried about them entering and exiting. Eventually, though, I'm going to flip it inside out so that monsters can't break the door. And then it also means that villagers can't get out. But, oh, well. I don't really care about that too much. Okay, great! Let's just skirt at the wall here. Perfect, we arrived at the top. Well, let's just make an ebony door. Why not? Why not? Why not? Do I have any more ebony planks or am I one short? I am one short. I am exactly one short. What's different? What's different about the crafting table if I make it out of ebony? Is there any actually is there actually any difference? I don't think there is. Don't think there's any difference, but cool. Cool learning things, learning things chat. But yeah. So, I think the only time we're actually gonna need the minecart is honestly with the zombie. Working with zombies is horrible. Oh my gosh, working with zombies sucks. Okay, so we now have a lovely door there, and we can actually put us co this cobblestone back. So it means that if I- when well, next time I bring in this, I can go up. Oh, hello there, Not Oreo! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat! How are you doing today, Not Oreo? How are you doing? Okay, there we go. That should be fine. Why did you teleport? That is a bizarre question to be asked, isn't it? That is a bizarre question to be asked. I have no idea why you teleported. Okay, let's drop down some food. Just kidding. That was meant for the adults so they could breed. Great. That didn't work very well. You were watching tab bizarre. Bizarre that you ended up here then. Well, how how are you doing? How are you doing other than accidentally teleporting? Okay, good! That is great to hear. That is great to hear that you're doing good, not Oreo. That is great to hear. Okay, just gotta go up the endless tower. I s whose dumb idea was it to settle on the top of a mountain? Right, that was mine. That was mine. Why did I do that? I have no idea, Chad. I have no idea why I decided to live at the top of a mountain. It was a bad plan. It was a bad plan. Okay, we can sleep. We can go get bread. And then we are going to use that bread to breed the villagers. And it'll be good. It will be good, Chad. 
Downwards forever. Okay. It's always so. I need to build. I need to build a water elevator. I feel like it would be faster than flying up. And every now and then. You think you're the only one? Yes. Usually, a lot of my viewers are just lurking. So you're probably the only active chatter right now. Although, if I scream admin loud enough, sometimes they appear. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it does. There's not really any rhyme or reason to it, but sometimes it works. Okay, let's drop that there. Let's go breed our chickens. Actually, it's been a long time since I've done that. Well, I don't really need to breed these chickens because I have a chicken farm up there. Oh, nah, it's, 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 good. it's good to have multiple animals on multiple different areas because then if some accident, per se, were to happen to your animals on one area, they're not all dead. It's very unpleasant when accidents happen and destroy your animals. A cre- Hey, what do you know? I didn't even have to yell that time. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, see, see, you don't know. You just, just some, sometimes, sometimes the admin appears. But yeah, it's great to have you in the chat, not Oreo. You were wearing your wireless head. It, it gives me so much happiness to think about you just wandering around your house wearing like a full on wireless headset. It just looks so stupid in my brain. Like, it just sounds so stupid in my brain. I'm building a puzzle with the misses. Yeah, the admin be old. Admin is old. You're streaming, you're streaming reviews in the basement. I see. I see. I see. Ow. Rude. Well, rest in peace, the admin. Rest in peace, the admin. Okay, let's grab a little- Ow, I'm just getting brutally stabbed to death. That's fine. Okay, we're doing okay. Okay, just just kidding. I offended the, I offended the admin enough that they left. Feeling good, chat. Feeling good. Okay, let's finish up our carrot farm. I am so excited for when I finish the carrot farm because then I can finally use the carrots to breed the villagers. Which using like potatoes, carrots are usually really good for breeding the villagers because they go so fast. They they grow so fast, except for these ones. I don't know why these ones have decided that they are growing going to grow at the rate of like stone. They just do not grow. Okay, I'm going to plant the next row here. I want to have at least two rows of carrots. I want to have at least two, but they can't be right next to each other because apparently that slows down their growth. Which absolutely blows my mind. I did not know that farming in Minecraft was this complicated, but like you have to have like torches, even if it's outside, you have to have like water, you have to have like alternating rows, you have to have bees, like it's so complicated in order to get like the fastest growing crops, like why? It's just needlessly complicated. Okay, Nightbot, yes, I use Nightbot as a chatbot. It is- it is great. It is great. Okay, let's sneak over here and... Ow. Breed our villagers. We got this. We got this. Oh, dang it. What? What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh. A villager just walked, like, right in front of me while I was trying to- This guy hates you! Oh my gosh! There's other chat members in my chat that uh, the, the Nightbot hates as well. Yeah, they... It, it, it shouldn't be too aggressive. I toned down what it does a lot after a lot of my chat members were, like, aggressively hated on by Nightbot. Yay! Why didn't it block that? Oh, I thought, I thought its auto-profanity removal was better, but just kidding. Just kidding. Rest in peace, my PG-13 chat. Well, I haven't said worse things, so not really a huge deal. Not really a huge deal. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, should I chop these down? I really like the apples from this tree, even though I don't eat them. I was very, very happy when I discovered that they dropped apples, but I've yet to eat them. There's there's not really a lot of rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, chat. There's actually- oh, there's two pigs here. I could totally use my carrots to lure these into my pen. I can have pigs as well. I should totally do that. Is that a server? Yes, it is a server. It is called the Feather SMP. It is called the Feather SMP. It's a pretty great SMP. Okay, although well, no one's on it right now. I'm, I'm just pookity, alone, unsupervised. A very, very dangerous thing. Very dangerous for me to be, leave me unsupervised. Should I breed the turtles? Probably. You ain't have no PC. Oh, rest in peace, rest in peace. 
Not playing, not, not having a PC is rough. Okay, let's grab seeds. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So, as I, I'm not allowed to fly in the rain. But I can still fly if I'm like, just in the water. Wait a moment. Wait a moment, chat. Chat, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I am just walking on the water. I am just walking on your wedding, Santa. Yes, good plans. Good plans. Just wait, wait, wait for Santa. It's fine. It's... <laughs> this seems like a this seems like a minorly bad plan. Okay, I'm just I'm on a journey, chat. I I am just simply Jesus. I can walk on the water. Behold, behold, the power of Pukati. I can walk on the water. I can I need Frostwalker in order to make that joke. I need I really need Frostwalker to make that a uh, Frostwalker to make that joke. Okay, I remember my hardcore world. I used to have Frostwalker on it. I think it's actually the only time I've ever used Frostwalker, like, on stream before, because I don't usually use Frostwalker. I find it quite not very helpful. I find- I don't really find it very helpful. You kinda- yeah! <laughs> um, I don't think I am Canada that- that- That would- that would- that would- that would take a lot of skill to simply be Canada, but I- I live in Canada. I do live in Canada. Oh, there we go. They're gonna breed. Let's go. Let's go, chat. It's working. It's working. Our villager breeder is working. Oh, it makes me so, so, so happy to actually know it's working. Okay. How are you? Are you in Canada as well, not Oreo? Or are you in the United States? Or, like, Europe? I always say, like, country, country, continent! You're waiting, Santa. It's a good response. Good response. Good response. <laughs> okay, let's pop up here. Oh, this is a bizarre story. Oh, <gasps> Iron! Let's go! Woohoo! Oh no, I feel like a PC is a kind of massive gift to get from Santa. I mean, I get like socks from Santa. That's approximately what I get from Santa. Okay, let's see. Well, I once- I once- I once got, like, a creeper cereal. Like, it was- it was some, like, cereal bot. it was like a cereal that was, like, based around creepers. I was so happy with it, I was- it, it was- it, like, made my whole day. It was great, it was great. Oh, okay. Oh, you did it last one. Did they go spoom? They did not, but they were like kind of like Rice Krispies. So it did like a crackling sound, which I found absolutely hilarious. You got socks. Yeah, socks forever. I should probably stop talking about Santa Claus though, because despite despite Twitch rules, um, I do know that my streams do get washed by children. Complete, completely legally, of course, completely legally, 100% legally, it is, um, parental, parental unit supervising child watching Twitch, 100%, not just child watching, haha, <laughs> 100%, so probably should avoid the topic of Santa. Should probably avoid that. Yes, you believe, you believe, yep, yep, 100% legally, chat, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Who is Santa? Exactly, exactly. They're just, they're just so, they're just so mythical. Don't have any idea. Don't have any idea what's happening. Also, how are you doing, Oscar Diggs? Haven't asked that yet. How are you doing? How has your life been? Okay, let's. You are good! That is great to hear that you are doing good. Admittedly, that's a little bit of a de decrease from when you are God than from when you were God. But pretty great to hear that you are good. Life has been good. That is great to hear. That is amazing to hear, Oscar Diggs. Okay, there we go. We have not, we have not like purple flowers. We have like a fancy house now. Yeah, you come back to Earth. That is amazing to hear. That is great to hear. That is so weird, being able to like fully land on my farm from like a hundred blocks up and it just be like chilling. It's like, it, like this, this soil is legit like invincible. You live in Asia. 
Wow, that, that is far- that has got to be, like, very, very... Early? Or late? Get 99% on map. Oof. Oof. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You have been to Asia. I have not been to Asia. I was like, no! No! Rest in peace! The 99% in math! Oh, chat! I have an update on the essay I wrote about Ryan Reynolds! I have an update on that! I got a 65! I passed it! And I wrote it on Ryan Reynolds! I did not expect to get that good of a grade on it! You know, further off Conan you have been is Switzerland- Oh, rest of me- You just got zero iPad? Off! They're the youngest child. They're the youngest child, aren't they? Even an admin. Hey, it's the encounter. It's the encounter of Oscar Diggs and the admin. But yeah, that sucks. That sucks. <laughs> okay. It's really stupid. Okay, let's maybe try to be slightly more, um... Try to just... Hi, Oscar. Yeah, the encounter. The encounter. Okay, let's just... Ooh, the sun is setting. Let's sleep. Let's sleep. I, I like, religiously sleep. I hate phantoms. I hate phantoms so much, partly because they're, like, the same size as me. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, not Oreo. Welcome to the group. We're not that crazy, we promise. Only slightly. Okay. But yeah, it's great, chat. It's great. It's great. It's great. I, I totally expected to get much worse on the essay I wrote about Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Welcome to the group. We're crazy. Oh no! Shh, shh, shh! Don't tell them all the secrets, Oscar Diggs. Oh. Dad, man, you're a horrible person. Okay, okay, okay. Respect. Yes, let's go. We have not, we have not terrified away the new joiner. Also, that bacteria thing I was growing in biology failed. It failed stupendously. So. It was terrible. We were the only group in my entire class that did not have the biology lab work. It sucked. It sucked so bad. It was like getting... Uh, imagine me and frightened of creepers while they can create. It was like getting 9 times on a map. <laughs> you just shared Oscar Dinks! You just shared Oscar Dinks! Which we're not- we're not in creative, we're not in creative, we just have an origin that allows us to fly. I only got five hearts. I've only got five hearts, so if a creeper blows up, I am just so dead. I am so dead. But it's fine, it's fine. Ah, you see that? No, I can- I can completely understand your confusion, though. I fly a lot- Ah, your ears! Oh yeah, I apo- I apologize, I apologize. Um, there should- there- there isn't a warning, I need to make one, that when listening to a Pukati stream, audio should be approximately- <laughs> Approximately around 1%. What is your origin? Are you a chicken? Oh, they're, well, they're just leaving. Okay, when they come back, when they come back from the ads. When they come back from the ads. We'll tell them about the origin. Mama is walking, you're watching it. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Well, rest in peace. Rest in peace, not Oreo. Well, they might be, they might be a goner. They just might be a goner. Okay, you are back! Welcome back, Oscar Diggs! Hey, Nat Oreo, try to keep- uh, we try to keep a PG-13 chat, if you could please just refrain from swearing, thank you very much. But yeah, Oscar Diggs, we are a fairy origin. Bye! Oh, okay, well, they're gone. Well, it was- it was good knowing not Oreo. It was good knowing them. But yeah, we are a fairy. It means that we have five hearts. We can fly unless it is raining or we're inside of the water. And no potion effects work on me. And I cannot wear any sort of heavy armor. There's like a whole bunch of stuff. I would love to be able to show it, but it's just a glitch now. And you're itty bitty. Yeah, I'm only a block tall. It's great. It's great. Oh no, uh -huh. you're also tiny. Yeah, I am tiny. Ah, look at that! Not oh no, why didn't an iron golem spawn? That's not good. Are they safe? They are safe. It's fine. Oh, fun! You're in dinner. No, no, not Oreo. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe they'll go back to sleep. Maybe the parents will go back to sleep. You got this. Also, since Oscar is now not God, I, I get to I get to take I get to take Oscar's place. I am Jesus. I can walk on the water. I can walk on the water. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, being tiny is fun. Not being dead for real. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I very much agree with that. I one hundred percent agree with that. Also, I very much have a little terrif. I very much have a little terrifying thing where I am incredibly fast. I don't know why. I don't know why, but apparently, most tiny origins, when you are short, you are fast. Like, and all I can think about it now is if real people in real life, if they are short, move faster. Like one hundred percent, one hundred percent. You just have like a three foot tall person being like meow, which absolutely terrifies me. Like, could you imagine like a little toddler streaking up to you, like zoom in, like it would be absolutely horrifying. Hey, every fairy you've ever seen is super fast. Shh, he's coming. Why don't you just turn down your? Wait, wait. Wouldn't this be? Wouldn't this be easier if you just turned down your audio? Wait. Why do I? Why am I being quiet when there's a? Wait, I'm confused. Every fairy you've ever seen is super fast. Yeah, yeah. Checks out. Checks out. Checks out. Wait, when have you seen a fairy, Oscar Diggs? I'm curious to hear about this now. I'm curious to hear about this. Tell me you have you have never asked a little kid what is in your mouth without saying you've never asked a little kid what's in your mouth. Oh my gosh, I swear to goodness gracious. It is insane. Like telling a kid to put on their boots when they need to go. Slowest thing in the world. Like, so slow. As soon as you're trying to get them to do something, like, as soon as you're just like, put on your boots, I sh they're like moving in molasses, but as soon as you say something like, what's in your mouth, or like, what are you holding inside of your hand, oh my gosh, those little, speedy little buggers, they're like zooming, they are zooming, they're like Olympic athletes, it's absolutely insane, like, I don't understand, I don't understand, like, if I had that level of energy, phew, the coast is clear, the coast is clear, good job, not Oreo, okay, you're safe, you're safe. Wee! We're zooming. Oh, okay. Oh, let's grab wheat. I am trying to get my villagers to breed so I can get my iron farm all working. I currently have one villager inside of it. I still need to get two more in. It's great. For me, it was actually... Where did you put the ha that helicopter maple? What? What is a helicopter maple? See, for the record, it was so far up their nose, you couldn't... Actually, see it. What? Oh my god, what? That's awesome. Admin, you and I have very different ideas of what awesome is, but that's okay. Urgent care was able to see it. What? I am so concerned on so many different levels, but honestly, I I, I have younger siblings. I I I one hundred percent understand why why they would put it in their nose. Oh, I'm on the no! Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Not Oreo. Not Oreo about to get kablammed. Rest in peace. Maple tree seeds fall like helicopters. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. You gotta hide. Not Oreo. This seed. This seems counterintuitive. It seems counterintuitive to be on a Twitch stream when supposedly you're hiding. Seems slightly counterintuitive, but I mean, you go, kid. You go, kid. Probably should not be encouraging this, but you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm so past caring at this point. Thank you, stars. You've never had to take a kid to get to urgent care to get something extracted from their nose yet. I'm very worried about that in brackets yet, admin. Very worried about that, but we're just not gonna. We're just not gonna. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The night is still young, admin. That is by far, that is by far the most menacing way I think I've ever heard that said, and it's about getting things stuffed up someone's nose. Which is very disarming to me. You still have kids that are young enough to do something in the one. No! Do not hide in the washing machine! I'm intervening on this one! Please do not hide in a washing machine! That is a great way to end up very dead very fast. Okay, so are you actually as tiny as the Latin little baby villager? I am. I am less than a block tall. I am less than a block tall. Like I'm one pixel shorter than a block. It is awesome. I can I can like sneak through my window. It's awesome. 
Oh, wait, actually, can I can I sneak underneath a slab? Like, if I, like, use a slab... Also a good way to get... What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like hiding inside a washing machine is not a great plan. Coast clear! <laughs> I don't even know what to do about this. <laughs> okay, well, good for you, Nato! Your coast is clear! Good job, good job! Also, I still have no idea how to plant the mushrooms that I gathered. I went on, like, close to... Yeah... Yeah, it seems, it, seems, it seems like not a great plan to hide inside of a washing machine. There just seems to be a lot of flaws in the plan. Okay, let's breed the turtles here, even though I don't really want to care for their children. They appear to not want to anyways. Dryer. Oh, you guys are- Oh, you gotta sleep in the bathroom. Why are you sleeping in the bathroom? You guessed wrong. This is just a kind of guessing game at this point. Sometimes, 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 sometimes I find it hilarious. You know, you, you think you think that the streamer is the entertainment. No, no, this is, this is the, the, the the chat is the entertainment at this point. It's the guessing game. It's the guessing game. Where where is not Oreo hiding next? Okay, let's drop back off our seagrass. We really need to wait for another villager to grow up because I want to have at least four adult villagers inside my breeding hall at all times. So I don't want to be like pulling out the more more villagers. Oh, actually, I want to check out my tower now that I have the glowing flowers on it. Which I don't I actually don't have very much. I'm not gonna get a very good image of it right now. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. They should try hiding in a box of Oreos. I would be very impressed if they could hide inside of a box of Oreos. I would be incredibly impressed if they could manage to fit inside of one and also very concerned. I find that those two quite often go hand in hand when it comes to a Twitch chat. Inside of, yeah, yeah, it's great, yeah, yeah, exactly, inside, yeah, exactly, it's hide inside of yourself. It makes sense. It, 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 somehow it makes sense. There's logic there somewhere. Somewhere. Not sure exactly where, but somewhere. Okay, let's see. Pugachi actually fits inside a box of Oreos. I'm learning new things about myself, chat. Yeah. 100, 100. Logic. Logic. Pugachi fits inside a box of Oreos. 100%. Yeah, I, I got this. I got this. I got. I can fit inside a box of Oreos. It's fine. These are Minecraft skin. Uh, true. True, 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 true. Actually, wait, could I? A block is a meter tall. So I am like three feet tall. Also, why is that dandelion so tall? Like that dandelion is half a block tall. That dandelion is a foot and a half tall, chat. I mean, it's a it's a big box of Oreos, chat. It wanna yeah, it wasn't. I can fit, I can fit inside a box of Oreos, but probably can't fit inside a box of Oreos. Is that bloody dandelion though? Like, what the heck? It's a foot and a half tall. That is a dandelion that is out to destroy the world. It's only 18 inches tall. Oh, actually, that makes it that makes it sound a lot better. That makes it sound a lot shorter when you just say 18 inches instead of a foot and a half. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, it's fine, chat. False alarm. Fal we we are we are not going to all get murdered by giant tall dandelions. It's gr it's a good life, chat. It's fine. You're 612. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Wait, isn't that 611 at that point? I don't understand. You got a seven footer in chat. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, so I'm I I never thought that I was short. I never thought that I was short. Like I, I was always on the taller side growing up, and then I reached high school. It's insane. Every single boy is taller than me. And so I'm just like, ha, I remember that kid from middle school. They were down here. Oh, God, why are they up there? And it's terrifying. But an Among Us of views, Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I was, I was always on the taller side growing up. So it is very, very bizarre. It is very bizarre to go to school and actually have to, like, look up. To see people in the eyes. Like, one of my friends is so tall. They're so tall. They're like two heads taller than me. You'll get used to it. It's, it's horrifying. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. But yeah, eventually I'll get used to it. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see, chat. We'll see. We'll see. I forgot to feed the villagers my carrots. 
I was going to try to get them to breed using carrots, but then I forgot. Okay, let's att attempt number two to try to give villagers food so they can have children. Please make another villager. I need another villager. I need so many villagers. I also need that villager to grow up. Because I don't want to steal any villagers until I have five adults so I can always have four villagers breeding. That's my plan. Okay. What's also really weird is... I I had a I had a weird thing when I was in school where I swapped between middle schools a lot. They did the You know. Ah! I'm very convinced. <laughs> I swear my PG 13s has become a joke. My PG 13s has been a has become a joke. Oh, okay, let's move along. Yeah, I, had, I had a funny thing. When I was in middle school, I swapped between middle schools a lot because I was like, I had to go to a late immersion program and then back into a French immersion program. So I just, I moved, I moved around schools a lot, which means I know like almost everyone that is inside of my high school from middle school years because it, it, a lot of middle schools fed into it. But I didn't see a lot of the kids between like my middle school years and my high school years. But I come back and I say hi and oh my gosh. Everyone's voices was so deep. They were so deep, and I was here just like, what the heck? What the heck? I literally left for one year, and I come back, and you, you legit sound like you're 40 years old, my dude. Like, what the heck? What? The it fully broke my brain, chat. It, I just, it broke my brain. It broke my brain. You're gonna get out of the bathroom. That is a good plan. That is a good plan, not Oreo. Should probably stop hiding inside of a bathroom. Doesn't really seem like the most hygienic place to hide. Actually, would it be the most hygienic place? Because it's got the soap. It's got the soap. You had a similar experience with your nephews. Oof, that would... That would so Ah, look at that! They're adults now! We can- we can steal one of them. Great! We are committing theft of a human being. Let's go! Please get into the boat. Please get into the boat so that I can commit human theft. You forgot it only opens on the outside! That doesn't make sense! Why would a door only open from the outside? Especially a bathroom! Christmas, they sound like little kids. Easter, they are suddenly not. Oh, for rest in peace, that would not be- You're stuck. Well, rest in peace, not or They just simply exist within the bathroom for the rest of time. Well, it was- it was- it was great knowing you, not Oreo. It was great knowing you. They will just simply fade away and- <laughs> You're hungry. No. <laughs> not Oreo is just gonna be trapped inside of the bathroom for the rest of time and- Oh, villagers! is- Two villager. No, I only want one villager. I only want one villager. Please, I want one villager, good sirs. At least they, yeah, they have access to water. That's not that's not too bad. That's not too bad. You got they got access to water. That's something. That's something, right? Okay, please get back inside of the nice safe breeding and all, so I can close it off. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, good sir. Awesome. Okay, yes, this is true, 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 but, but, no food. There is no food. There is a dying squid. There is a dead squid. You'll die. I feel like someone will find you in the bathroom before you die. I mean, let's, let's be optimistic. Let's be optimistic. You got this. You got, hopefully you won't die. Hopefully. Hopefully. There is, there is hope. Okay, let's use the villager pathfinding and get them inside of here if we just... Point that in here, lead them in there. There we go, now we can... We actually place the door inside out, then they won't be able to leave, but I'll have a door that I can get in and out of. Awesome! Awesome! Why is there a... Composter? Cobblestone? Bed? Thingy? There's multiple, multiple options? Okay, there we go! Pizza! There's a pizza! Bizarre. Bizarre. It is bizarre for there to be a pizza. Oh, okay, we got- Okay, there we go. Aha! They're inside. Okay, chat, we got it. In the bath. It is- that is bizarre. That is bizarre that there is a pizza inside of the bath. That is a very weird place for a pizza to be. I mean- There could be many places for a pizza, and there are many things to go inside of a bath. No! 
That was insane. Okay, so to explain what just happened, the rain just started, which means I can't fly anymore, which means I take fall damage. As I fell, I managed to get underneath the ledge. That's not Fanta. I second that. I second that. I second that assumption. It should not be Fanta inside of a bath. So, we just barely- You drank it. Okay, well- <laughs> I'm very concerned why you would just drink Fanta inside of a bath! But okay, bro, okay, okay. Slight, slight pookity concern happening. Books, you have the most interesting chatter. I, I, I 100% agree with this assumption. This is, is no the assumption, the statement. I second, I second that statement. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Okay, let's grab cobblestones. We have cobblestone in the future. I need to go harvest both my carrots and my bread. I need to harvest both of those. Okay. We're gonna hop into this water here. Awesome. And let's go harvest carrots and potatoes so we can go breed our villagers again. And actually, I think I'm just gonna take one of the adults now, now that I have enough to get all three for the iron farm. Don't do worry about too much. At least you have pizza. I also would not eat pizza you find inside of a bath. I that's that's just that's just kind of you know my opinion. But I would not recommend eating pizza from inside of a bath. I would not recommend that. Just seems like a not so great idea. Okay. Uh, ooh -hoo! I always forget that I take fall damage from like every single jump. Always forget that. Okay. I need to be probably more careful about where I am jumping. I'm gonna take so much damage, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll live. I'll live somehow. Behind the sink. Wait. So there, 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 there's carrot. There's pizza inside the tub and beside the sink. There's just so much pizza. This is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind, chat. This is blowing my mind. It's so much pizza. So much pizza. Okay. I need to go hop into here. I can sleep in a bed here to pass away the rain. And then I can give all this food to the villagers. Hopefully they'll breed. And we can actually head back up our mountain, hopefully. Yes, waiter, you'll have what Oreo's having. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is a very interesting... This is a very interesting tale inside the chat right now. I'm just, I'm just learning so much right now. I'm learning so much chat right now. It's like a journey. You're cutting for Ultra K. Yo! Yo, insane. Also, I have no idea what, like, the yellow shanks or, like, the bar on my hunger bar is. Should probably know that because, like, it's probably part of my origin. But I have no idea what it's about. Okay, let's see if this actually works. It's weird to kind of, like, watch my villagers breeding. But, like, they are so prone to, like, just deciding not to breed randomly that I actually need to know. I need to know if they're actually gonna work. Yeah, there we go. They work. They're fine. That means we can take another villager. If we just pop this here, I only want to take an adult villager. I don't want to take a child villager because the pathfinding with the composter won't work with a child. So I just want to grab- Oh, there we go. We got an adult! We're on a journey, chat! We're on a journey! Woohoo! Don't go to Asia. This is a very interesting moral of this story. This is like the craziest, this is the craziest tale ever, and it just, it, it, the moral of the story, don't go to Asia. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on going to Asia. I wasn't planning on it anytime soon. I kind of, I kind of, it just it never really crossed my mind. You've been to Asia, they don't have pizza in bathrooms there. I would assume that not a lot of places in the world do have pizza in their bathrooms. I would very much assume that that is a not Oreo thing. No, 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 please go back in. No, good sir, where are you going? Please come back! Okay, wait for that to fade out. And then come back here. Okay, pathfinding is working. Pathfinding is working. Pathfinding should work. Working and closed. They're now trapped inside of here. 
But Mama has. Afra I'm afraid. I'm af I'm af I am very afraid of what that sentence ends with. So they can't open those doors. Um, they can open them, but because I put it inside out, currently they think it's closed, so they won't go through it. So they'll try to open it to go through it, but then they can't go through it because when it's open, it's closed. It's it's complicated. It's also actually why zombies can't break doors placed like that. Which is why you should always place doors like that. Less lessons from Pukati. Okay, there we go! There we go, chat! It's all worked out! We now have a full... The old, the door is actually open trick. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. It, it makes, it's like the ultimate form of gaslighting. Like, the door is literally gaslighting you. This is open, chat. It is not open! It is not open! Okay, so the next trick is actually just to get the zombie in here. But I can't really do that till night, and I do not want to do that right now. Have pizza. Pizza good. Not like this! It's fine. It's fine, chat. Why can you not type this? I don't know. There. Perfect, yeah. I don't know what my automod thinks it's doing. Like, it, it, it sometimes drives me slightly insane. It drives me insane sometimes. It will let, like, swear words, whatever, through. But then it'll randomly block random phrases or sentences. And it's like, why? Why- why do you think this is crazy? Also, pizza! Yes! Not Oreo! Lots on lots of pizza! Fun, 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 fun! Alright! Well! We actually have reached our two-hour point, which is where I usually end my streams! So, I wanted to thank you all for watching today's stream! I hope you guys all have a great day! Night, 3 and panic attack, whatever this is for you, whatever this is! Hope you guys have a good one! Pooty, thanks for the stream! Thank you so much for tuning in! All right, let's see who we are going to raid today. Let's see who we're going to raid today. Ooh, I don't really know anybody. Admin! Do you have a suggestion on who we're raiding today? Do you have someone, admin? Or, like, find someone we should raid? I'm very, very lost right now, but it's fine. It's fine. Protect we know what we're doing, chat. Very professional streamer. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Full, yeah, we got this. Just sitting here, just sitting here. Bye bye, bye bye, not Oreo. Hope, wish you luck with your um fire power. Yeah, we can. There's nerd KG too. What do you think, I mean Who should who should we raid? I was I was asking you. Let's ask our suggestion. Oh yeah, that too. Asgard, do you have a suggestion on who we should raid? We're just looking for someone to raid right now, which I'm actually kind of worried because yesterday my raid just did not work for some reason. So, let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. It might, it might fully well not work. I don't trust my raid button anymore. It did not work yesterday. At all. And I don't know why. No idea why it didn't work. What are you talking about? Raiding! We were talking about who we're gonna raid. Checking! Hold on! <gasps> we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if Oscar Diggs has a great streamer to raid. I'm very, very worried that it's not gonna work. Monkey is really- Okay, let's raid Monkey then. Let's raid them. Check them out. Sure, they're awesome. Wait. 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 I'm um, worried. Worried. What is it? Not a Okay, well, I'm going to send you guys all over to Mum Key. Make sure to go say hi. Drop a follow. They're family friendly. Make sure to go say hi. What about Mint Orange Live? Um, I don't really know them, so I'm, I usually try to check out videos before I, like, raid them, all that type of stuff, just because I don't really know what they do, but all right, I'm gonna go send it all over to Mumkey. Let's see if the raid works. Ciao! Hey, the raid button worked. It's a great day. Worried it wasn't. Have a great time over at Mumkey. Make sure to drop in, drop a follow, those great things. Have a great evening. Ciao!